Hello, my name is Mark Hoddle. I'm the Director for the Center for Invasive Species Research at the University of California, Riverside. On May 25, 2011, a Canary Islands palm sus suspected of being infested with red palm weevil was treated in a private residence at Laguna Beach. An observation window approximately six to seven feet wide was cut into the crown of the palm. Here you can see a skilled palmero cutting away the fronds. The fronds that were dropped to the ground showed feeding damage caused by red palm weevil. When we cut into the base of the fronds with a hatchet, we could see feeding tunnels made by the larvae of red palm weevil, and some of these larvae included cocoons. These cocoons were empty. The adult weevils had emerged prior to the cutting of these fronds. Feeding damage was extensive in these frond bases, as evidenced by cutting into the fronds with the hatchet. You can see extensive feeding damage, pupil cases, and pupation chambers that the larvae had made into the bases of these, of these fronds. You can see more pupil cocoons and weevil frass being pulled out of those feeding tunnels. This type of damage can kill these palm fronds, but in this instance it wasn't severe enough to cause palm frond mortality. The age of these fronds was estimated to be approximately three to four years of age. All palm fronds after they were removed from the tree were destroyed by chipping and then taken to a certified landfill and then buried. This was a precaution to prevent the accidental movement of red palm weevil throughout Southern California. After the observation window had been cut, it was treated with a, a contact insecticide and then the soil immediately below the palm was pressure treated with imidacloprid and then the trunk was sprayed with dinotefuron, a rapid uh, uptake neonicotinoid. These three treatments were to provide control of red palm weevil in the infested palm tree.